So, you're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Me being stuck in a cell with three other people. How about we go all the way back to maybe 20 years or so when I first joined my former captain. Started on a pretty normal day. Sun was shining. And I was on the nicking spree. Stealing a couple of uh, treasures from a nearby uh, temple. But I ran into this monster of a man. Named Caleb Wimsley. Finally. I got all the treasures I need. Now I used to sell them. I can make a home free. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, you dropped these. Are you looking for these? Y yeah. Oh, shit. Did you steal them? Yeah, from that temple. No one was taking them. So you just straight up stole them with no repercussions on what you would do. Yeah. Oh, so you weren't aware that you summoned a bunch of angry spirit-eating monkeys from the temple? Nah, crap. I guess I'm punished for ignore her. Draw my girl. What? I said, draw my girl. Alright, let's get going. And that's how I joined the Dragon's Den. Yeah, I know. Pretty anticlimactic if I do say so myself. But yeah, I, I traveled with the Dragon's Den for a couple times. I traveled with the Dragon's Den crew, became an official member. And when the crew retired, I was sent to stay with the ship. They left me the ship and basically any of other things that I could use. So Caleb said I could start my own journey. So I did. And this is how I would meet these other three men in my cell with me. The first being my vice captain. How I met him was pretty interesting. We, uh, we met in a uh, casino not too, like, two years back. Actually, four years back. And, uh, this is how it pretty much went. Alrighty. This is the life. Swimming by the pool. Drinking some nice alcohol. And playing and enjoying my life with the sweet life. Hey, who the fuck's that creepy ass fuck over there? <laughs> Can I cut off your liver? No, what the fuck? Hey, uh, sir, you're bothering that woman over there. I don't think you should do that. Would you like to see someone be decomposed? Okay, that's it, buddy. I don't know who the fuck you are. No, I was only offering. Touch that woman. And you don't want to find out what happens next. <laughs> Show me what happens next. I fucking dare you. Arc fire. Oh, this is fine. I've been through worse. How the fuck are you not burning alive? I'm not telling you the secret, bitch. <laughs> I've been burned alive worse. And ever since, he just wouldn't stop following me, so I said, fuck it, he can join my crew. <laughs> it seems we got ourselves in a little situation here, didn't we, boys? The next, the other person next to this guy, his name's Rebekoff, by the way. The guy we just talked about. The next guy, we'll get into how we met him. Is with the two of us, basically, we're in a, we were on a, we were on a heist, and we were currently getting away from our, uh, a nuisance rival. Finally, I found some new organs to experiment with. No, who gives a shit about that? We finally got some cash. Let's get the fuck out of here. Good, so I can make a lab. Damn you, Beta! <laughs> you fucking worked with the goddamn plague doctor, too. 
These fucking cook bastards! Don't let them get away! Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> when I said on the count of three, I did admit stripping the guy, stealing his keys, and showing his small, small, very sad worthy penis to everyone in the fucking crowd. Hey, it was fucking hilarious. What do you expect? Yes, but it goes in trouble with the goddamn army. Hey, who's that guy over there? Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Hey, you! Oh, God, fucking damn it! What? Reaper Cop, grab him. Hey! We'll give you, uh, we'll give you half of this money if you fucking kill, kill the guys. If you help us kill these guys that are chasing us. Deal. <laughs> Holy shit! He just, they just killed commanding officers! Ah! These guys are fucking Apex! Stay the fuck away from- Oh my god! They just committed murder! Ah, uh, murder. Nothing like the smell of it in the morning. And the guy we just met, that shoot. Our guns- Our sniper slash navigator. And Reavercloth, if you didn't catch on, he's the doctor. Look, I said for us to turn left. How the fuck are we in a- in a level 10 security prison. I don't know. Fuck. And the ne person next to shoot is a pretty interesting fellow himself. How we met him was also really interesting. Our Caleb ship, which I currently own now, the Black Swan T, needed to be get repairs because uh, we ended up uh, having a rough storm. Uh, Captain. It's not called the Black Swan T. It's not? You said it was something else. Uh, yeah. You called it the Stormbringer. Oh, yeah, Stormbringer. That's Caleb's ship, that's right. That was technically his ship, so I just took. You just said I could have it. Where did the. Oh, that's right, you were drunk when you said the Black Swan T. I said no, because it sounds stupid. It sounds like a fucking. Beta Pirate Crew's name. My name's Beta. I didn't really meant you! Yeah. Fuck! And that's when we ran into this guy who just... He had a bunch of more, uh... Fishman, uh... Thugs with him and he was trying to rob us. Give us your fucking money! Uh... Hey, buddy. Would you like to meet your parents in the underwater? <laughs> okay, that's it! I'm choking your ass! Help! <laughs> Do it! I need more spinal cords for my fault. Oh my wait, 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 guys! Let him join our crew. <laughs> I am more insane than I am! To make a guy who's literally trying to rob us join the crew. Hey, fish guy. What? You you like treasure? Yes, so I like. Do I. I like treasure. How about we make an agreement? You join my crew? You get all the tr all the gold you you ever want, but you have to fix our ship every once in a while. Every time it gets damaged. So you're telling me that I need to be a shipbuilder? Aren't you a shipwright? You have a saw blade. Nah, I just stole this from a fucking god that I killed. I thought you were a shipwright. No, I literally killed a carpenter and stole his shit. I guess you can learn. We'll see. And that's how I make killer. Yep, well, that's pretty much the whole thing. Honestly, Captain. Well, I'm sorry, shoot. Excuse me for trying to make a short detour and not trying to die to some fucking squids. <laughs> I'm trying to be reasonable here. Fuck you. Fuck you, metal man. Fuck you, fish man. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh when I get nervous. Yeah, whatever. You guys found a plan to get out yet? Well, we could kill the god. We could hang him. <laughs> How about this? We just knock him out. I got an idea. We're, we're, doing, we're hanging him. What? No, guys! <laughs> it's, it's so simple. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. <clears throat> we really need to cut down on the murder. People think we're fucking. Fuck. We think people think we're fucking monsters. 
well, all three of us are monsters. Maybe not you, but all three of us are technically monsters, so we don't care. Whatever. Wait. Let's grab whatever wait, we can. Wait, wait, wait. Haven't I seen you before? What, me? Yeah. I kind of feel like I've seen you somewhere. I was a part of Caleb Dragon, Dr Caleb Winsley's crew. No, no, not that. Not that. I feel like there's something else about you that you don't want anyone else to know about. What? Eh, it's probably nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. I, I, I swear I've seen him before. Whatever. I swear to God I saw the captain somewhere before. Oh, you must be talking about my, uh... Uh, just don't worry about telling us if you don't want to tell us. No, no, seriously, I have it. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to tell us your dog past if you don't want to yet. Why do they keep blocking me, though? Whatever. Alright, let's do what we can and get the fuck off this, this prison island. Sir, it seems like they're stealing our shit and they they just took a marine, they took their ship back. All right, get all the fucking guards and uh, start multi fire. Sir, the fishman tore half our guards' limbs off. All right, then get the fucking tranquilizers. I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm they have no arms. What do you mean? I said the remainder of you that still have arms. Go get the tranquilizer bullets and start firing. The metal man took them, and he's now using them again. <sighs> Look, listen, you four. You have caused... <laughs> you caused some major fucking damage to the entire world. You four have stolen all of the world's Twinkies, have literally caused... The daughter of a rich family to commit suicide, and then not only that. To be fair, that was Reaper Cloth. He's kind of a you fucking. You somehow, individual. you somehow destroyed the entire economy of Food Town. Fucking Food Town! How does that even work? Those assholes had to come. Simple. In. You turn a one dollar to a zero dollar. <laughs> These guys are fucking monsters. I hope... Are you part of the fucking Black Cloud or something? I mean... The fuck? <laughs> I was a member. Oh, what? hey. What? I was too. Once. Didn't go so well. I killed a member. Oh, so you're that guy that my uh, boss talked about being on the blacklist. I'm on the top of the list. Jesus Christ. I murdered ten members. And I made a little organ doll. <laughs> You're fucked. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here before this guard decides to defy us. Sorry, it's really hard to stop making things when your brother forced you to make them for, mil for a long time. But that's another story to tell. And, that, and now we're sailing, I guess we're sailing out, out of here. Again, yeah. because that guard's too fucking done with our bullshit to try and stop us. Honestly, no, 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 wait. Oh my god. It, oh, fuck. Captain, I think he is going to stop us. Is that a fucking... I, holy fuck, is that a fucking admiral? That's a mist. Wait, mist? No, wait. He is the mist! That's, fuck. That's right, bitches. I have a fucking missed soul ability. It allows the me... fuck is a soul ability? You, you don't know. You have caused crimes, and all four of you don't know what soul abilities are. I think the crazy ass. I think Ravenclaw knows what it is. I've been trying to replicate the idea of a soul ability for years, trying to create the ultimate human. To make a soul ability happen. But I keep failing. Yeah, you'll get there, Reaps. And then maybe once you finally figure that out, you'll finally stop killing people. So a soul ability is basically like your own soul. It's like the projection of your personality. I do have this. Arc fire. Ah, oh, what the... Ah, oh, what the fuck? How did you know magic was your only weakness? <laughs> Dude. Fuck! I travel with Caleb Wimsley. Oh, shit! Alright. You can't fuck with me. I'm a fucking lieutenant. Wind. I ain't gonna have this shit. Wind. Fuck! How are you gonna make that guy 
trout. Who gives a fuck? Let's get the fuck out of here. Captain, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, Captain, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? You guys have no right to talk. <laughs> well, I don't have any right to talk. At least shoot. Especially you. At least shoot and kill him. <laughs> Make common sense when they kill people. All right, now let's get our ship, grab all the shit. Did you get the money? Yeah, of course I stole all their fucking money. Killer, what did you get? <laughs> you would not believe what I fucking stole. I fucking stole an anti-tank rifle. What the fuck, killer? This is going to be useful for someday. Jesus fucking Christ. Listen, listen. We are wanted fugitives. If we're going to survive, we're going to need to grab everything we need. Okay, shoot. What the fuck did you grab? Please tell me you got a, G a GPS. I got a GPS, grenades, all the fucking med kits. Literally, all of them. Good. And the duct tape. All of it. See? Someone who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. Why the fuck do we need duct tape? I don't... No, Wait. no, don't stop him. He, he might be onto something. Hold on. Is it waterproof? <laughs> of course it's fucking waterproof. That's not going to fix our ship, but... It might become useful for something. I don't know what, but whatever. Apparently, this tape has some interesting properties. That if you stick it on a soul user, they become weak. We might want to use this. Yeah, keep it. Take all of it. Put them on their head. Weaken them so they can't use their soul abilities. Oh, yeah. You know, guys, you want to know what I found? All right, I so got a bunch of gold, a bunch listen, of bullets, weapons. Captain. Yeah. If we're going to be going on this journey, mm. we need to figure out how to go after these soul users. Yeah. Like, they shouldn't be a problem to us. No. Because, but, basically, you're a walking beacon. Captain, you're probably going to beat all the important guys and really take all the battles away so, from us. So, what are you saying? I'm saying, can you at least give us some character development, too? The fuck are you talking about? Uh, I mean, like... Some epic battles. We can't just rely on you all the time. Yeah, you got a point there, yeah. You have the most bullshit cool toolkit that every single person wants. Magic. And you fucking have it. Yeah. Does that... Aren't you from a dying race? What were they called? I believe they were called uh, Wizros. Oh, uh, yeah, Wizros. Oh, I remember those fucking... Bastards. They went to the kingdom and tried to kill the dragon clan. Oh, I remember. It was not a good time in those days. Not a good time at all. How old are you? I'm 400 years old. Jesus fucking Christ. Sack Sackcloth lived for a very long time. Well, maybe except for my son. I don't know how long he's going to live for. After what they fucking did to him. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't, I didn't want to hear your life story. We can tell me all when we. You have look. a kid. You have a kid. Yeah, he's probably around his age. I don't know. Well, let's get everything onto the ship. We we already did. Also, I still have some slaves. For some reason, they respond to everything with cookies. What the fuck is that? It's a clay ball. They're like the slaves of this world. They, they literally work for cookies. Whatever. Let's get the fuck out of here. Listen, before buddy. Before Guy wakes up. You are free from your slavery and you work for us. You get all the cookies you want. Cookie! Cookie! Fucking crazy little bastards. <laughs> I think they're endearing. Yeah, 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 sure. Whatever the fuck gets your... Get your dick off, you fucking sick freak. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna enjoy this crew. Two days have passed, and it seems like our crew has become quite... My crew's become quite, uh... Interesting. Shoot is finally... Shoot and Killer managed to upgrade the ship. Killer adding... All the t anti-tank rifles, replacing the cannons with anti-tank rifles. 
No, to be fair, they're actually uh, uh, marine ship Gatling guns. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck you, what, you took the the cannons off the marine vessels. No, do, do you know how how I'm a badass? Do you know how powerful machine guns are? The fucking cannons. Yeah, you got a point there. But don't worry, I turned the cannons into portable ones. Nice, I can fucking carry those around. Come very useful. All right. So what has the doctor have done? Yeah, Reaper, Reaper Cloth, what have you done? <laughs> I learned about how to abstract some abilities from a person's body. That's nice. You killed him. That might become useful at some because stage. Because the soul ability is attached to a person's soul. When a person dies, their soul diminishes. Thus, their soul ability comes out and goes to the next person. So basically, it only goes to a generation. Thus, someone in generation A, B, C plus would get the next soul ability in that rank. I see. So when a baby is born, so when a person dies with a soul ability, a baby born gets that ability straight away. Doesn't matter who they are, what they are. That soul ability will characterize them in the future. It's very important to raise a child with a soul ability. In the wrong hands, they become the most deadliest person in the world. Okay. So, uh, shoot, how is the weather looking outside? It looks like shit. It's a oh. shitty-ass day. It's raining. Wait, is that... Oh, fuck, we're in a fucking... Fuck, we're in a fucking typhoon. It's pretty bad we make this out of this alive. Okay. Killer, turn right. Okay. No, that's left. Killer, we're going to the fucking typhoon! <laughs> we're all gonna die! Jesus Christ, John! Whoa. Salutations, guys. We're gonna die. And I guess, to be continued, what will happen to me and my crew? Find out next time on whatever the fuck Dried Crunch called this series.